dear students welcome to lecture 5 of chapter 1 number systems today we are going to learn how to locate root 2 on number line in your previous classes you learned how to locate rational numbers on number line how to locate integers on number line but in this class you will learn how to locate irrational numbers on number line for that we will go through with the concept of pythagoras theorem once again what is pythagoras theorem this you have studied in your class 7th pythagoras theorem states that when you have a right angle triangle any right angled triangle for example here in this figure abc is a right angled triangle which is right angled at point b ab is the perpendicular bc is your base and ac is your hypotenuse so in this right angled triangle square of the hypotenuse is always equal to the sum of squares of perpendicular and base that means ac square will be equal to ab square plus bc square in other words your hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square and hypotenuse will be equal to square root of perpendicular square plus base square so this theorem we are going to use for locating root 2 on number line now children just imagine this triangle just imagine this triangle suppose this is your point o this is your point b and this is your point a suppose okay and the length of this base oa is one unit this is your base length of perpendicular p is also one unit then what would be the length of hypotenuse so we'll use pythagoras theorem here once again we know that hypotenuse is equal to square root of perpendicular square plus base square so here your perpendicular is 1 so 1 ka square plus base is also 1 so 1 square 1 square plus 1 square is 1 plus 1 2 so hypotenuse is your root 2 under root of 2 so this concept we are going to use on number line how just see for that first of all we'll draw one number line this is the scale i'm drawing number line this is my zero okay so mark the points like suppose this is your zero then one one unit gap i'm taking in between all the points this is your number line suppose this is your zero this would be your one two three four five so on and this side would be minus one minus two so on okay so suppose zero to one is your one unit so this is your base one unit right now let this point one be a let this point one be a this is your zero let this point be o this is your a now what do you have to do you have to draw a perpendicular here to construct a right angle triangle so how will you draw a perpendicular you can construct a 90 degree angle or you can draw 90 degree angle with the help of d so i'm taking d here keep the midpoint of d at a adjust your d 90 degree i have marked this is your 90 degree right so at point a i'm drawing 90 degree angle this is your 90 degree angle at the point a right now as we saw in this triangle your base is one unit and your perpendicular should also be one unit so let's let mark the perpendicular this is your one unit so i have taken one compass i'll measure this one unit okay so this is your one unit I'll keep my needle just a minute okay this is your one unit I'll keep my needle at A and I'll mark it 
I'll draw one arc here. Suppose this is your arc. Okay, let this be point B. This is your one. Now join O and B. Now this is also one unit. This is also one unit. So and it is also a right angle triangle so what would be the length of this hypotenuse as we started here one unit one unit hypotenuse is root 2 so that means the hypotenuse is root 2 this is what we have to locate but this root 2 is not on number line and our question is to locate root 2 on number line so we have to bring this root 2 on number line so what we will do now see we'll keep our needle of the compass at the point O we'll take this OB as our radius okay so what we are doing basically we'll keep our needle at O we'll take this OB as our radius and we'll draw one arc on the number line with the same radius like this this arc is cutting my number line at the point C so this OC is your root 2. How? See, if suppose this is a circle, this arc, if it, if the circle is completed, then this OB and this OC both are radii, right? This OB and OC are the radii of same circle. So that means this OB is equal to OC. And we know that OB is root 2. So that means OC is also root 2. So under root of 2. So this OC is equal to under root of 2. This is how we construct uh, or we locate root 2 on number line. I have written uh, steps of construction for this also. You can write it down afterwards. First children please go through this and do it yourself and then write this in your maths notebook. These are the steps of construction. First, draw a number line. Let OA let OA is equal to one unit on number line. Draw AB equal to one unit in length perpendicular to number line at point A. Okay, this we did by D. Then join OB, which is equal to root two. This we proved by using a Pythagoras theorem then draw an arc with center O and OB as radius which cuts the number line at C so with center O and AB, OB as radius we drew, we drew one arc and it cut on number line at the point C so your OB is equal to OC equal to root 2 this is how root 2 is located on number line next question is this is your NCRT question locate root 5 on number line children we will proceed this question also as we did uh, in root 2 but a slight change is there as we know that under root of 4 is equal to 2 right square root of 4 is 2 so we can write square root of 5 as square root of 4 plus 1 this we can write because 4 plus 1 is 5 under root of 5 it is same, one and the same thing or we can write it as 2 ka square 4 ko we can write 2 ka square plus 1 ka square okay so now consider this triangle okay consider this triangle now in this case your base is 2 units right this is your base 2 units and your perpendicular is 1 unit then according to Pythagoras theorem your square of hypotenuse is equal to perpendicular square plus base square or hypotenuse is equal to square root of perpendicular square plus base square perpendicular is 1 so 1 ka square plus base is 2 to 2 ka square 1 plus 4 it is root 5 so hypotenuse is root 5 so basically what is the difference between this question and the previous question in previous question we took our base as 1 here we have to take our base as 2 units so let's con let's do it so first of all we'll draw one number line so children this is your number line I'm marking at one one centimeter all the points okay so this is your number line suppose this is your zero one two 
3, 4, 5, so on. This side is your minus 1, right? Let it be point O. Now, how many units of base we have to take? 2 units, okay? So, this is our base from 0 to 2. So, let this 2 be point A. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to construct a 90 degree angle here to make a right angle triangle. So, using D, I am making a 90 degree angle at point A. So, this is your 90 degree angle. Um, like this, I have drawn 90 degree angle. Now, perpendicular should be one unit. So, I am taking this compass. I am measuring one unit. This is your one unit. I am keeping my needle here and making one arc. So this is our point B. This is one unit. So our base is two units and perpendicular is one unit. Now we will join O and B to make hypotenuse. Now as we did in this triangle, our hypotenuse would be root 5. But again, children, this is not on the number line. So, how to bring this on number line? We'll keep our needle at O. We'll take OB as our radius and draw one arc. Like this. On the number line, the point at which this arc, arc cuts the number line, let it be C. Okay. Again, children, please pay attention here. OB and OC are radii of the same circle. So OB is equal to OC. Now since your OB is root 5, so OC is also under root of 5. Okay. So we have the steps of construction for this also. Draw a number line. Let OA is 2 units. Draw AB equal to 1 unit in length perpendicular to number line at A join OB which is equal to root 5, draw an arc with center O and radius OB which cuts the number line at C, thus your OB is equal to OC equal to under root 5 units. So now practice question for today is locate root 2 on number line and show that under root of 5 lies on number line. This you have to do yourself. Okay, so we'll soon meet in the next video. Thank you.